Hey everybody, welcome back to Knock and Stock. You ever wonder if you could save a little money and buy your broadheads at Walmart? Let's see if they're worth it. Let's see if it's worth saving the money. First off, what we're going to do is a sharpness test. Um, i got a little scale here. We're going to try and rig something up with these floss picks. I've seen a couple guys on YouTube do this to show, kind of show you how sharp it is. We'll do get a baseline with a, with a standard um, uh, razor blade for a utility knife. And then um, we'll actually test the sharpness of my whack abroad here, which is what I like to shoot. And then we'll get right into the blood rush and see how well they do. Hey guys, so we're going to get our baseline. I'm going to turn on my scale. Okay, we're on ounces. Let's put it on pounds or ounces. Okay. This is a brand new razor blade right out of the package. I've only used it to cut a couple little serving strings. Oh, don't touch it. We'll go back. Go back to zero. Oh, there it goes. I'm going to push. Not cut. Ooh. I don't know what it cut at, guys, but we'll go back and put it where it was. Okay, guys, here we are back at round two. This is a Wacom broadhead. That's what I use. I haven't killed anything with it. It came right from my quiver this last season, right to my broadhead case, and now it's back here. So it hasn't been shot at, or hasn't been shot in any targets, and it hasn't shot through any animals. So it should be pretty new. Let's get a baseline for him. Oh, maybe. Ooh. I don't know what you guys think, but uh, we'll stick with that. It was definitely a lot sharper than the than this regular uh, razor blade. So, all right, we'll get back into it. Let's get to our blood rush finally. All right, so this one we've got the blood sport here, and we'll turn it on just like before, and. Set it to our right unit we want. There we go. Okay, you guys watching? Oop, not too bad. All right, for kicks and giggles, we're gonna do a round two. All right, we're all set. Here we go again. Ooh, I will give it to him. It's pretty sharp. I think it actually even beat my uh, Wacom broadhead. So, pretty impressive. I'm not sure what the numbers were, but I'll be sure to add them to the video when this is all done. But, uh, on to the next test. Alright guys, first things first, let's see if they group with our veil tips, okay? It's a pretty simple test, right? Everybody wants to see if they group, right? Everybody clangs, it'll fly just like a veil tip. Let's find out. You all know my bow is tuned with an inch of its life, okay? So, we'll start here. I'm going to shoot... The broadhead first, because I learned the hard way a long time ago. You don't shoot field tips first, because then you cut your arrow shafts in half. Okay, I asked my dad about that. Uh, I cut one of his arrows in half one time. But anyway, so I'm going to leave you guys here. You watch this. I'm going to aim right here at white, center white. And first thing coming is a broadhead, and then I'll shoot my field tips right after that, okay? One broadhead, two field tips. Let's find out. All right, guys, so this is the broadhead field tip. I don't know what happened there. I kind of pulled it a little bit, I guess. I was only shooting, I was shooting 30 yards, guys, just so you know, 30. These two are pretty close, but uh, I bet you'd have to broadhead tune a little bit with these. I don't know, it's a little breezy. That could be why I'm drifting right. I don't know. I haven't shot in a few days, so I might be a little rusty, but I don't know, let's move on to the next test. So I'll tell you guys right now, they claim that, I don't know if you guys can see these little, little holes inside. They, play, they claim that this will help blood trail. As it enters, it'll gush blood out of the broadhead, into the, out of the, sh the, the ferrule. And the ferrule looks like it's just one piece all the way up to the top. Focus. Focus. Okay, it won't focus. Anyway. So we're gonna claim this. I they claim this. This this is an Allen broadhead. In case anybody was wondering. Um, personally, I don't like Allen. I think that it's all pretty cheap stuff. I can already see little nicks in the blades from shooting the broadhead target one time. 
I don't know. I'm not very impressed with these. I, I mean, if anybody follows me on Instagram, I paid four dollars for this pack of three. So uh, yeah, uh, I mean, you get what you pay for. With Alan, it's pretty much what you pay for. And I'm not a big broadhead guy. I really don't believe that a bigger blade means means a better blood trail. I think shot placement is everything, not so much uh, blade size on broadheads. But let's, but let's find out. Let's shoot a jug and see how fast it is, how long it takes to bleed out, okay? All right, guys, we got a jug here. It's full of water. It's got some coloring in it for all you people out there in YouTube land. And I'm gonna smack this puppy. It is getting windy. So we will find out how well these broadheads fly. So you guys watch, I'm gonna shoot it. It's sealed up. Um, it's not, it's hardly bleeding. It's not bleeding at all. Maybe, oh, maybe because I, I left the jug on? <laughs> the lid? Hold on. Oh, there you go, guys. <laughs> it did leave a nice little cut, though. Uh, clean pass through. It came out. This side's not really bleeding that much. To be completely honest, the broadheads are not flying very well. I keep getting a swirl out of them. I don't know if it's them or my arrow. I doubt it's my arrow because I shoot my other broadheads just fine at these. Let's see how tough they are, okay? You guys remember our brick from last week? We shot, oh look, it's even got marks still. We blew up the Walmart arrows right here, here, and here. Let's shoot this puppy and see how bad we can destroy it. Sound good? All righty, you stay here. You watch this, I'll be right back. Hopefully it doesn't hurt my camera. Hope you guys can see that. Sorry guys, I told you, I can't not get this broadhead to fly very good. Uh, <laughs> well, that's probably good enough, because look, I hit plywood. Hold on, let me turn on. I hit plywood, and here's a blade. It's stuck in there. Oh my gosh. Uh, so, just shooting plywood alone, I lost both blades. It's bent, but my carbon shaft looks fine. Carbon looks fine. Tip's gone. Two blades are gone. Yeah. <laughs> These are pretty awful broadheads, guys. I'm <laughs> not gonna lie. Uh, I don't even think they're worth the $4. Uh, but if somebody wants them, tell you what, if somebody wants these broadheads, uh, leave a comment below that you want them. I'll send you the, the, the last one I got left. Or I got two. I have two left. Uh, so leave a comment below if you want them. If you want them, I'll send them to you and good luck to you. But thanks for watching, everybody. Um, hope you enjoy this video. We'll get a lot more coming to you. I try, we try to upload uh, every Thursday. Um, thanks to everybody who got online and purchased a shirt. Um, I'll have to go get your name and give you a shout out, but I forgot who it was. Uh, someone bought a decal. So appreciate it. Thanks for the support, guys. We like doing what we're doing. Um, even though it's a little cold and windy today, we still had fun. So yeah, don't buy Allen Broadheads. Uh, it's just a waste of money, in my opinion. Spend a little bit more. Spend around the $10 range. Other than that, Spend at least $10, please. So, uh, yeah. We'll see you guys next time. This is Derek with Knock Thanks for watching.